Hello there, good people. Hi, I'm Jason with Green Country Agroforestry, and today I am here to tell you about a couple of new trees that we're planting today. Uh, they are both prickly ash trees. They're Xyloxanthum genus, two different species. This one is a Xyloxanthum simulans, or Sichuan pepper tree. And this one over here, this one is called Xyloxanthum Hyperidum, or Sancho pepper tree, or Japanese pepper tree. And these are both forms of prickly ash. They're called prickly ash because of these sharp little thorns that they have growing out of the trees. Uh, both of these produce a, a small fruit, uh, basically a peppercorn, but they're not the same as the black pepper that you're familiar with. Uh, black pepper has a very hot flavor. These have more of a a citrusy flavor to them and they have a numbing effect on on, on the lips and the tongue they could actually be used as an, as an oral anesthetic um, there's a variant of this tree that grows in north america from zone 7 through 11 called the, the hercules club uh, prickly ash which uh, has been used as an anesthetic and a paralytic in some cases whenever you can find them they're not that common here in zone 7a um, this uh, the xyloxanthum simulans Sichuan pepper grows from zones 5 to 8 in the u.s the sancho pepper grows from zones 5 through 9 and they have slightly different characteristics the Sichuan pepper is a dioecious plant which means it produces male flowers or female flowers on one plant, but not both on the same plant. So if you're going to be able to get this tree to reproduce sexually, you would need both a male and a female. Uh, I don't know which one I've got. It could be a female, I hope it's a female, because the, the Sancho over here, Sancho pepper, although it's categorized dioecious, it actually does have both male and female flowers on each plant. And since they're both of the same genus, you know what can happen. The male flowers off of the Sancho can wind up fertilizing the female flowers on the Sichuan, and I'll get peppercorns from the Sichuan. So let's go ahead and get these in the ground. I've got a uh, space over here where the fig trees used to be, and we'll get those planted, and uh, hopefully they'll do better than the fig trees did. For a while, I was worried about the placement of this tree and putting it here. Sichuan pepper likes to grow up to about 10 to 12 foot high, but it can grow up to 18 foot wide. And there's not a lot of space from here to the front porch. But with some proper pruning, I think I can train it to fill out more of the space here to the, to the east and not invade the walkway there too much. Well, that's the hope anyway. We'll find out. I've got some of this cardboard laid around here. That's just for doing some sheet mulching later on. Now that we've got some good weather, go ahead and make a hole, I think, right here. Matter of fact, grab some cardboard and use that to throw my dirt on. soft and loose that soil is. The very definition of well-draining soil right there. Okay, now for those of you who have seen me plant a tree before, you know what I'm getting ready to say. But for those of you who haven't, I'm going to go through it one more time. <sighs> when you're ready to plant a tree, you need to excavate a space for the tree's roots to go into that is significantly larger than the root ball of the tree. In this case, it doesn't have to be very big. Do not put any amendments in the hole at all. Don't put any manure in, don't put any fertilizer in, don't put any nothing. Put the, hole, the dirt that came out of the hole back in the hole, nothing else. All right, when you fill this hole up to the very top from the very beginning with water to ensure that you don't have some sort of a cavity your water is draining out into. 
if you got a cat. Oh, the neighbor's geese are really pitching a fit today, aren't they? All right, so you've got your hole, you got it full of water. You go ahead and take your dirt that you took out of the hole and start putting it back into the hole, just like so. Break up any clods along the way. Get it back into the hole. Ideally, you want to do this with a another person helping you out to just sort of feed the dirt down into the hole as you go. And then while that's happening, you mix the soil and the water together. I know you're watching saying, what sorcery is this? What sorcery is this? The The hole was filled with dirt. I removed all the dirt from the hole. I filled it up with water. And the dirt and the water occupy the same space. How is this possible? And of course, why would you want to do this sort of thing? And the reason is, whenever you make a, a mud puddle like this, that you're gonna put your, your tree down into, there are no air pockets. And you have perfect soil to root contact from the very beginning. All right, good people. Here we have our Xyloxanthum simulans, Szechuan pepper, USDA zones five through eight. One year seedling from One Green World out of Portland, Oregon. Retail price, about 20 bucks. And if you can get it, you're lucky because they're already filled out of these for the year. All right, there we go. Now, planting is simple. All you gotta do, take it, put it in the mud pedal, push it down into the mud, past the point where you want it to go. Ouch, and then stab yourself in the finger. One of those, fine. Now pull it up. There we go. And now we've got no air pockets and the roots are nice and distributed out amongst that amongst that mud. And the tree is going to be able to take off and grow in this spot as if it had always been there. Let me get my hand rinsed off real quick. Okay. Now I can just pile my, my wood mulch up around this area here and mulch it in tree will take off just fine from there. All righty, here we have some wood mulch we're going to put down around this new tree here. And I'm going to go ahead and lay it in thick. And yes, I'm going to lay it in all the way up around the base of the tree. There are some gardener ch gardening channels out there, even some prominent and well-known ones that will tell you not to put your mulch up against the base of the tree because of this fungus that's in the, the wood mulch. As the mulch is being decomposed, the fungus is working on it, and the fungus may damage your trees or plants or whatever it is. And the people that say these things are very well-meaning, I'm sure. I mean, this is what they've read somewhere, so it must be true, right? Well, they may have read somebody's opinion that that fungus is damaging to, to trees, which is kind of true. It's, it's, fungus can damage your trees if it's a parasitic fungus. But problem is, the fungus that's decomposing these wood chips is not a parasitic fungus. It's what's called a saprotrophic fungus, a fungus that decays dead material. The only, re the only reason it would start eating your tree is if your tree was dead. So, I wouldn't be too concerned about it, folks. Okay, now we're going to excavate a hole for our Sancho pepper to go in. Okay, now we're going to take our Hori Hori knife and the Japanese pepper tree, Sancho pepper, or Xyloxanthum hyperetum. 
Piperatum, 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 something like that. Let's cut this puppy loose. And try not to stick ourselves in the process because although it doesn't have as big a spines as the Sichuan pepper tree did, it does have spines. They are sharp. And just like the Sichuan pepper, the this uh, this tree, I think this one is uh, 24. One of them was 20, the other one was 24. Eh, not cheap for a year old seedling. And already sold out. The waiting list at One Green World where you can sign up to have a chance at getting one next year is open. I won't have any for at least two or three years. So. All right. Yeah, but for this tree too. Okay, so here we go. I notice I got sharp spines right there close to the base, so I need to be very careful when I pull this out. Let's get it into the ground. Okay. So while I'm getting this uh, other pepper tree here ready to be mulched in, I may as well talk a little bit about uh, propagation. As I mentioned before, we've got dioecious trees here. These uh, prickly ashes, they're both prickly ash. Uh, two different species. And being dioecious, being dioecious means that the trees have male and female flowers, but not male and female flowers on the same tree. And I have no way of knowing which gender of tree I've got here. Now, I've heard that the Sancho peppers, despite being dioecious, will actually have both genders of flowers, both male and female flowers. But they'll be predominantly male or predominantly female, but they will have both. So that's kind of interesting. That means that the Sichuan pepper may wind up being pollinated by the Sancho pepper at some point. Very, very carefully make an adjustment here. Early on is a good time to make adjustments to these things. Once the tree starts going, It'll be hard to correct its bad habits. Okay. Tuck that in there. Yep. Good. We're going to do the same thing over here. This other piece of cardboard. All right. Okay, so. Since I don't have a male and female each of each tree, if any of the fruits do wind up getting pollinated, there'll be hybrids between Sancho and Sichuan. If I want to produce a purely Sancho or purely Sichuan tree, then I'll have to do something called vegetative propagation. And vegetative propagation is where you break off a piece of the tree, a cutting, if you will, and put that into a medium that it can root it. Soil, water, sand, something of that nature. Well, the resulting tree from vegetative propagation like that will have the exact same genes as its parent, including its gender identification gene. So if the parent was a male, then when you vegetatively propagate or propagate through cuttings or through suckers, if they're growing up from the roots, uh, the offspring will also be male, vice versa. If it's female, then the offspring will also be female. The only way you're going to wind up with an independently 
sex offspring is through sexual reproduction, where the pollen from a male flower reaches the pollen or reaches the uh, <laughs> the only way you're going to wind up with with uh, sexual differentiation in offspring is through sexual reproduction, where the pollen from a male flower will find the semen of a female flower and thereby exchange genetic information. The offspring will be somewhat similar to both parents, but have its own unique characteristics. Well, hello there, good people. Thank you for joining me today. Hope you learned at least a little bit of something about prickly ash trees, the Sichuan pepper, Xaloxanthum simulans, and the Sancho pepper, Japanese pepper, which is Xaloxanthum piperitum. They're not true pepper trees. Not, they don't produce peppercorns like the black pepper, but they are very similar. And interestingly enough, the leaves of the Sancho pepper can be used as a substitute for black pepper. So there's that. In any case, if you found this video informative or entertaining, you know what to do. I'll catch you next time.